Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my idea for Halloween. It's a body painted geisha with kimono uh, body painted as well. I wanted to do a zombie geisha, but then it was too pretty to ruin it. I hope you're gonna like it. I'll leave it to the video. I start by mapping out my face with a white pencil which I can easily erase if it's not symmetric on both sides and I'm gonna draw the circle I'm now gonna flatter my brows with some print stick glue and then I'm gonna draw also these guidelines for where I want my fake eyebrows to be as you can see you can easily erase um, the product with your fingers and draw back on. Now starting to paint my face around. I'm using a Kryolan body paint color in this purple color and a square brush for body painting so you can easily reach all the angles and lines with this brush. Once you finish to draw all the purple parts around your face, we're gonna switch to a white body paint color and I'm gonna paint all the inner part of my face with white, just leaving the brows area. I'm now gonna do a mixture of these purple and pink colors and I'm gonna paint the brows area which I didn't color before. I'm swap also to a body paint brush which is more precise for small details and I'm also gonna elongate this semicircle towards my nose. Gonna color the area up until my actual brows are and then I'm just doing the edge with purple color, so it's more three-dimensional. In the inner waterline, I'm gonna put a white pencil and on the top, near my lashes, a black pencil. We're gonna stick some falsies, 706 of Amazing Shine and number 44 by MAC. So I sticked the Amazing Shine on the top of my eyes and the MAC ones at the bottom. Moving to lips, I'm drawing them with Cherry Lip Pencil by MAC, you can use any red pencil and I'm drawing them thinner than my actual lips because Kesha lips are very very thin and as a lipstick I'm using All Fired Up by MAC which is a matte lipstick. I'm drawing the edges with the white pencil and then I'm using a yellow body paint color to go around the edges of my brows just to highlight them and also to give more like a color pop. So be very precise at this point. And I'm also drawing of yellow the edges of the lips. Now moving to the kimono. I'm drawing the start of my kimono and I'm painting all my neck of white. We can now start painting the skin of the color you want your kimono to be. I'm using purple as well, so I'm painting all my skin uh, of purple. And you want to do this in um, more steps. Um, so do one step, then let it dry and repeat again, because this is going to give you a more vibrant color. I'm now gonna mark the beginning of the kimono and also the side where the buttons are gonna be. I'm just giving more 3D effect by painting the edges with some black color. And now shading very lightly one part, one side of the kimono doing again the side of it and drawing some little buttons on it. And 
it's now time of decorating the kimono you can use your imagination i just searched for some pictures of kimonos on the internet and uh, that's where i took inspiration from but i also played a lot with my fantasy so i'm just drawing two big flowers one on each side of the kimono and to do this is always good to use light color because they're really gonna pop out and I'm also going to draw some petals here and there. You can do petals of three, of two, of one. With the light blue color, I'm gonna paint the ends of each petals. This is gonna give us more uh, funny effect and also they're gonna be more three-dimensional. With the yellow, I'm gonna draw the center of the flowers and other petals every now and then where you want. I keep adding more color, move to the orange. We're gonna draw some more details around the big flowers and petals all around the kimono. Skip to the yellow again. I'm gonna draw some ornamental details. So some little dots, they're gonna join some flowers on the kimono and as you can see it's very pretty at first I didn't want to paint too much the uh, right side of the kimono but then I didn't like it how it looked so I painted as well and moving to the hair I back comped loads of it and just divided in three sections and clipped it at the back. I added an orchid flower and that's the finished look. I spent lots of time recording this look and I put lots of passion. Please give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you're not, share it on your social media as well. And sorry for this voiceover, but I forgot to record in English. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.